A lot of people ask how to paint behind a toilet. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can paint behind your toilet. My name is Paul from Trusted House Painter. And there's two ways to do it. You can either remove the tank completely or you cannot remove the tank completely. Now, if your tank to your toilet is up against the wall, you're gonna have some issues and you most likely will have to remove it. But if it's like most tanks where there's a space behind it, then you don't need to remove it. And I'm gonna show you some tools that you can use to do it. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you is like most painting projects, you wanna do the prep. This tank holds water and it can sweat. And my, most of these tanks do sweat and therefore there's moisture behind the toilet. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're clean the toilet behind there. There's a lot of grime, a lot of dust, a lot of debris that gets caught behind there. Plus a lot of painters don't paint behind the toilet so it's usually not done right. So first step is cleaning behind the toilet. The second tip I'm gonna say is actually remove the lid. When you remove the lid, it gives you that much more access. So it's pretty simple, you just take it off. Now keep in mind it is porcelain and it can break. So gently take it off and gently place it somewhere that it's not gonna break. Now another trick you wanna think about is how to protect this. So uh, what painters sometimes use is they use a big black plastic garbage bag and you can wrap it over top of it and tape it up and that helps you protect the toilet. Um, some painters use old bed sheets. Same thing, wrap it around. You can use a canvas drop sheet that many painters use. You wrap it around it, you can tighten it up, tape it up, therefore it allows you to get behind it. However, most porcelain tanks are pretty easy to clean, but for best practices, you wanna protect the toilet. Now, after you've cleaned the toilet and you've sanded the walls and prepped the walls, there's a little thing that we use as painters and it's called a whiz roller, what I call a Johnny on the spot roller, a Johnny roller. And they come in all different shapes, shapes and sizes. And they're good for all sorts of different applications. And in this video, I'm gonna show you that there's different widths, different girths of rollers that you can use, different naps. And generally speaking, for toilets, there's not a lot of room behind it. So what I like to use is these, what I call mohair or velour rollers. And they're like millimeter thick. They don't hold a lot of paint, but they do the job. And so what you can do is you can actually get in behind there and you can use a roller to roll in behind the toilet when you're painting. You can get from all sides. And sometimes it's a little bit stiff, but most of the time it does fit. These rollers, these, uh, these, they're called whiz rollers. They come in different lengths shorties and long ones so you can use whichever one you want and you can buy them at any store they come in packs of one these rollers packs of two or even packs of 12 or whatever you want they're really handy that's why i call them johnny's so what you want to do is you just want to roll behind the toilet using the, the stick to get as far as you can and once you're done painting it you gotta remember to let it dry properly let it cure before you put a second coat because bathrooms are what you know as wet rooms and wet rooms because of showers, toilets, um, they have high moisture content. So it's really important that you have, uh, you let your paint dry before you put a second coat. So this is a video that helps you understand how you can paint behind a toilet, the tools you need to use and some tips that you have. And the last tip that I'm going to give you, which is not rocket science, but any true professional painter will tell you the truth that you use a rag. Always have a rag on hand, have a wet rag on hand. It helps when it hits the floor, it helps if you hit the, uh, the porcelain tank. It's just a rag to a painter is like a goal post to a hockey goalie. It's the best friend. My name is Paul from Trusted House Painter. If you've got any questions, you can feel free to leave a comment in below. And if you need Trusted House Painters to paint your house, you can go to www.trustedhousepainter.com and you can find local painters there.